So you didn't email anybody else about Elise Thompson's butt crack, right? Oh, well... It's blue. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on my Twitch and my kicks. Those links are down below. Also, my Patreon, where I react to more content on there that I don't post here. I'm getting pretty sick of him calling my mom. Well, Today, I'm going to be reacting to more South Park clips. This is bullshit. They can't take our pajamas from us. Who does the principal think he is? After everything we've been through the past couple of years, they're gonna take pajama day from us too. We didn't even do anything wrong. Guess that's just part of being a kid these days. Yep. Whoa, 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 wait. We are not gonna just stand for this. What else can we do, bruh? Bruh, we can have some goddamn boss. What does Matt Damon say on that Bitcoin commercial? Fortune favors the brave. My dad said he listened to Matt Damon and lost all his money. Yes, everyone did, but they were brave in doing so. No, I can't stay home because- What happened? Work, because Matt Damon told you fortune favors the brave and now you lost all your money. Matt Damon told me fortune favors the brave and I lost all my fuck money. We can do this. We what? just have to be brave. But not too brave or else Matt Damon will come and take all our money. All right, dude, can we lay off the Matt Damon jokes, please? They're just getting old. Kenny, what the fuck? I want How more. How did the dropper get a hold of my email to you? I don't know. Do you just leave your emails oh. open for everyone to read? No. That was a private email from me to you. Hey, Wendy. You like looking at girls' butt cracks, Dan? <laughs> No, I was telling Kenny he would like it. Him. Do you have any idea how embarrassed I am? Wendy, it was just a quick email to Kenny. News stories pop up on Eavesdropper every hour. People are going to forget all about this. So you didn't email anybody else about Elise Thompson's butt crack, right? Oh, well. I want to see my egg. Huh? I want to see my egg. My egg? Wendy, it isn't something. your egg anymore. Egg yes, it is. I made it. I decorated it. Well, you might have made it, but we're the ones who are taking care of it now. You have your own egg to look out for. I just want to hold my egg for a couple minutes. Wendy, I just want to get an A, okay? Let's not make this any more confusing than it already is. Don't let anything happen to it, please. Wendy, nothing's going to happen to the egg. You can have it when the week is over and I get my grade. This is an issue of trust and privacy. We have to all work together to put an end to eavesdropper once and for all. What's funny about having our private lives hacked into? Especially when they're writing about your boyfriend's addiction to crack. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, butters! Hello, sweetie! <laughs> Mom, where the hell have you been? I've been home from school for like 45 minutes! I'm sorry, honey. Mommy had some errands. I didn't have anything to eat except Nutella. I was about to call child services. Honey, Mommy has some big news. I might stop eating Nutella. What? I got a job, Eric. I thought she was about to say boyfriend. I'm your job. I've done an extensive <gasps> profile, and really I've narrowed it down though. to somebody in this very room. <laughs> Whoever you are, you're a gossiping little bitch, and we're not gonna- It's not somebody in this room. What? How do you know? Because whoever it is just now posted a new story on Eavesdropper. Allison Taft reveals embarrassing secret about Craig Tucker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait, that's me. I was actually about to say, I was like, well, he's he's on his phone, so if they just dropped the story, maybe it was- But, um, it was about him. I mean, he found it funny, and that would be a very good cover-up, is- Someone posted a story while you were in that room, and it was also about you. Um, but probably not. I don't know who in it ends up being, but I hope it's not Butters, because Butters always gets in trouble for everything. I have seen him do, like, one thing once that was, like, questionable. That was probably his fault. But everything else he usually just gets blamed for. Um, I love the one where... Love is a strong word, actually. I liked the part in that one clip where Eric just stares at her blankly and says, I'm your job. Also, Stan is actually usually the one of reason, or, well, Stan and Kyle. Really, it's just Eric. Eric is usually the one, ew, I called him Cartman, um, is the one who's the, like, causing trouble and just always trying to convince people around him to do things differently, and we have to find out for this reason, and as if it's not selfish or awful. Um, but now he's the one who's trying to figure out who's behind Eve's dropper because he's the one in trouble. Not because he did something super, super ridiculous, but kind of, I mean... The email, like he has a girlfriend and it's more funny because it was about like another girl. I don't know if that counts as cheating. Like they're in fourth grade, so they're giving them adult problems that aren't meant for them because they're like fourth graders. Listen, Kenny, we need to talk about your new girlfriend. What about it? Oh boy. Kenny, we know you really like this girl, but... But what? But what? Well, we've heard that she's... Kenny, Can't be your girlfriend this. is a notorious whore. She even gave a kid named Dave Darsky a BJ in the parking lot of TGI Fridays. Huh? 
Your girlfriend's a slut, dude. Oh, Control versus Cartman, and people against the clubbing of baby seals versus Cartman. And apparently the winner of all your debates so far has been Cartman. That's right. Cartman doesn't always win. He just gets pissed off and goes home, so we can't debate anymore. Yeah. 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 I'm just a better debater than you guys. You don't even know what you're debating about half the time. Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. Oh, yeah? Well, screw you guys. I'm going home. Oh, oh no. Yeah. We have a deal, Cal. Yeah. If I can prove there's a leprechaun, you have to suck my remember? We don't have to this. Kenny, keep him away from us. Very well, Kenny. Please Let us stop back up. Him. Oh, Kenny. Kenny, knock it off. Ken, see if you have any questions for me. Why are the Asian girls drawing pictures of us being gay? What's wrong with being gay? Nothing wrong with that. But we aren't. I'm not. I'm not either. That is completely irrelevant, okay? What matters, and the reason I brought you in here, is, he is that you understand affirmative consent. What's that? If there is a romantic relationship here, you have to make sure your partner is comfortable with any exploration. Well. Ah! Now, in a gay relationship, it gets a little trickier, but you still have to follow some guidelines, all right? But I got gay. I don't care about that, bro. You're my super best friend, too, Kyle. Oh, uh, that's so sweet, you guys. I love how PC Principal talks. He's such a, like, jock, bro, gym, frat, like... <laughs> he says bro, but he's the principal, so his entire character was really great. Even, like, that upper lip thing and how he's like... I don't know, I can't do it, but it's really... His character's great. Um, I like how he talks to just every... I, he's good. Good addition. Also, I'm bad with names, but that's Craig and Twitchy? Twitch? Can I say that word? Tweak? <laughs> um, I feel like that sounds some type of, like, kind of familiar. I don't think I've ever seen that discussion before, so it was nice to get a little bit more context on the situation. Maybe even be interesting to react to that episode in the future, but that whole scenario was very funny. I don't care about that, bro! You're my super best friend too, Kyle. Oh, that's so sweet, you guys. You want to go get a room so you can make out for a while? <laughs> Don't put this all on me, Kyle. Why are you oh my god, this is so awesome. Toodaloo, Connor. No. See ya. Classies. Okay, sweetums. What? Oh my god, where is my homework? I am freaking out. They're gonna get us anywhere. Kind of like your startup company. <gasps> Oh, dude, it's Took badass. It, it happens to be worth six thousand dollars. That was six grand. Yeah, dude, it's a recreation of the bolo tie worn by King Henry V. Recreation, though. Bolo. Dude, it's f gay as fuck. I know. Clyde, can you tell me when Ulysses S. Grant was president? Um. Don't answer that. Uh, Craig, how about you? Uh, okay. I refuse to answer on the grounds that it may incinerate me. What? Incriminate. Okay, children, I'm having a real problem with you all having lawyers. It is really disrupting <laughs> class time. <gasps> Other lawyers are. <gasps> that was the. Stan? Well, um, I'm not gonna get any context on that. Um. At least he wasn't on the phone with Wendy. Um, I liked a few more of the other ones in here, but let me know down below which one was your favorite. And if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye -bye, baby blue.